First of all, we're going to have a look at isomerism. It can be split into two different types, structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. Structural isomerism is where atoms are joined in a different order, and this is the type of isomers that you've been used to looking at. For example, if we have a look at butane, we can join butane in a straight chain of four carbons, or we can have a branch chain off of three carbons. These would be two structural isomers, as they contain the same number of atoms, however they're joined in a different way. Stereoisomers have all of their atoms joined in the same order. Geometric isomers have a structural element which hinders rotation, and optical isomers have mirror images. First of all, we'll look at geometric isomers. There are two ways to have geometric isomers. One way is to have a double bond within the molecule, another way is to have a ring. Both of these will stop rotation within the molecule. If we look first at double bonds, and I'm going to draw 1,2-dichloroethene. To draw 1,2-dichloroethene, you can have both of the chlorines on the same side of the molecule, or they can be on opposite sides of the molecule. When they are on the same side of the molecule, they are. this is the cis isomer. When they are on opposite sides of the molecule, this is the trans isomer. So if we're to write the name in full, we'll, we'll have cis 1,2-dichloroethene and trans 1,2-dichloroethene. Another way to stop rotation is to put in a ring in the molecule. So if we look at cyclopropane, which is a ring of three carbons, we can have no rotation around any of the carbons. So we can have a similar thing with chlorines added on. Chlorines can either be on the same side of the ring or they could be on opposite sides of the ring. Our second type of stereoisomers are optical isomers. This happens where we have a chiral carbon. This means we have four different groups attached to the carbon. This produces non-superimposable mirror images of each other, which are called enantiomers. If we are to draw out a pair of enantiomers, we're going to use the 3D shape to be able to draw these. I'm going to draw a dotted line down the middle to represent a mirror. And here we have two enantiomers. If you have a 50-50 mixture of two enantiomers, this is called a racemic mixture. There is no chemical difference between enantiomers except when they are in a chiral environment such as a biological system. The only way to tell apart enantiomers is to have a look at their effect on plain polarised light. Each enantiomer will rotate plane polarised light by the same degree but in opposite directions. If you have a racemic mixture, there will be no rotation of light. Pause the video now and try these questions looking at geometric and optical isomers. So for part A, we're looking at drawing but2ene. If you were just to draw butene in a chain, you would draw it like this. Whereas now we're having a look at what is on each side of the molecule. So if you start with the C double bond C and put in the bonds around about the carbon to carbon double bond, remembering they have a 120 degree angle. For the cis isomer, the two CH3 groups that you have on either end will be on the same side of the molecule. And for the trans isomer, they will be on opposite sides. For 
for part B, we're looking at drawing 1, 2 dichlorocyclobutane. So cyclobutane would be a square, and we're looking at having two chlorines on it in the 1 and 2 positions. So here we need to show um, the chlorines either coming towards us or going away to show which side of the ring that they're on. So for your cis isomer, both of the chlorines are on the same side of the ring. So I'm going to draw those as coming out of the page. And for the trans isomer, they're on opposite sides. This means one will be coming towards you and one will be going backwards. Looking now at optical isomers, we've been asked to identify the chiral carbon in each molecule and draw the other enantiomer. I am going to highlight the chiral carbon in pink. So for this one here, it is the carbon in the middle where we have four different groups attached. For this one, we need to have a look at the different carbons that are in the molecule and work out which one of them has four different groups. Here we have a CH3 and a CH3, so they are not chiral carbons. This carbon here has two CH3 groups attached. This one has two H's. Within here, we'd only have three bonds. So this must be our chiral carbon here, where we have a bond to the benzene ring. We have a bond to a CH3. There must also be a bond to an H and then to the carboxylic acid group. You've also been asked to draw the opposite enantiomer. So for the first molecule, you can just draw in a mirror and mirror the image. For the second molecule, you can either draw in a mirror or you can switch over this group here. So where the CH3 is currently coming towards you, you can draw it going backwards and you've just swapped it with the hydrogen. If you're unsure how to draw molecules in this form, have a look at the video on skeletal formula. I hope that you find this video on stereoisomers helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams for regular updates. Thanks for watching.